Good evening, everyone. Today, I'm going to be doing another video, but it is going to be a little bit out of place than where I left off in the last video, because today I'm going to be trying to do a couple of quests in heroic dungeons so the story may seem a little out of place um i am in queue for a few places but i think in the meantime while we wait i'm going to be doing some daily questing maybe so i'm going to start with the cooking daily, which can be different every day. Looks like I didn't have to wait very long. So this is actually one of my favorite dungeons ever. So Echoes of Tortured Souls. I cannot thank you enough for coming. We're severely undermanned to be risking a venture into the Citadel, but opportunities like this are too rare to pass up. I'm waiting the arrival of champions from the Colosseum, but if your reputation holds true, you should be more than equipped to fight through the forge yourself. Clear the way to the far side and secure the passageway. I'm sorry, secure the passage to the pit of Saren. We will need to hold it and move our men further into the citadel. Please hurry, Lunacy. We're counting on you. And then, what was Lady Jaina saying? Thank the light for seeing you here safely. We have much work to do if we are to defeat the Lich King and put an end to the Scourge. Our allies which within the Argent Crusade and the Knights of the Evenblade have broken through the front gate of Icecrown and are attempting to establish a foothold on the Citadel. Their success hinges upon what we discover within these cursed halls. Although our mission is fraught with peril, we must persevere. With the attention of the Lich King drawn towards the front gate, we will be working our way through the side in search of information that will enable us to defeat the Scourge once and for all. King, King Varian's SI-7 agents have gathered information about a private sanctum of the Lich Kings deep within a place called the Halls of Reflection. We will carve a path through this wretched place and find a way to enter the Halls of Reflection. I sense powerful magic hidden away within those halls. Magic that could be the key to destroying the Scourge. Make haste, champions. I will prepare the troops to fall in behind you.
Yeah, this this series of um, dungeons, which would be the Forge of Souls, the Pit of Saren, and the Halls of Reflection, are very reminiscent for me. This one and Halls of Reflection particularly, I think, are my favorites. I do also really like another dungeon that I'm queued for, which is the Calling of Stratholm. Which I am a little nervous on how that's gonna go, trying to read out that quest, do the quest, in a timely manner. Because most people do skip the first part of it. This group seems like a very fresh group of 80s, which my character is also, at least at the time of recording this. The healer seems to be running out of mana pretty quickly and easily. But this is one of the quote unquote more challenging dungeons. More damage goes out than other dungeons. It's meant to be, like, the ending of the story as far as the dungeons go. You pretty much, as far as the story goes, um, in chronolo chronology, you would do this one, The Pit of Saren, The Halls of Reflection, and then you would go into the ICC raid. Let the tank get some aggro. Ouch. Yeah, I'm noticing quite a bit of damage going around. Jeez, if there's background sounds being pick up or picked up, it is kind of the middle of the day when I'm recording this, so I'm hoping that nothing is going to be louder than the rain sounds that I have going. There were a couple other sounds that I do want to try out soon, but 
when I turned them on today. I like to kind of listen to them for a couple minutes and see if it's something I'm vibing with. And I just wasn't really feeling the sounds that I was originally going to try out in this video. Maybe another day. We have to kill the corrupted soul fragments. I'm very low on mana. I'm hoping my inner vates comes in clutch. I can't equip male armor, unfortunately, so... That is not going to be an upgrade for me. I swear, this dungeon goes by quickly. Are you kidding me, tank? <laughs> oh, that's not the tank. Okay. It's just a random DPS warrior. Maybe I'll be able to integrate again before last boss, but... It's cutting it close. I suppose I could use a mana potion. Yeah, I'm trying to gear up this character as well. So I am hoping for some upgrades to drop. I've had very bad luck. I think I've done four or five heroics and I haven't gotten anything to drop that's even remotely compatible with me and my class. This one's always fun because this boss does an ability called um, mirror of souls and the ability basically does it targets a random DPS and does the damage to them that the group is doing to the boss and it just got the healer because too much DPS was happening to her.
go back up heel for her. Do some melee, I guess. There we go. Ooh, I really hope I get that. Let's see. Day. Not today. Oh, she's over here. So she said, excellent work, champions. We shall set up our base camp in these chambers. My Magi will get the Scourge transport device working shortly. Step inside it when you are ready for your next mission. I will meet you on the other side. Just in time. Thank you, Lunacy. The Pit of Saren lies ahead, and if our scouts are correct, past that will be the Halls of Reflection. It is there that Arthas lets his guard down, and it is there that we hope to find a clue to his weakness, or maybe, just maybe, his redemption. Quickly, through the portal, I will meet you on the other side. And so I'm going to unselect the Forge of Souls and select the Pit of Saren. And we'll get back into queue. So the cheese for Glower Gold. Renid Glower Gold in the leather worker's shop in Dalaran has had a sudden craving for wine and cheese. Collect cheese, which is on the shelf at One More Glass in Central Dalaran, and half full wine glasses found on tables all over the city. Pour the wine together into a bottle and serve it with the cheese to Renid. We don't think he will know the difference. So combine the empty cheese platter with aged Dalaran Lindberger from the cheese shop One More Glass and with six half-full Dalaran wine glasses found on tables around Dalaran. Bring the wine and cheese planner to Renid Glowergold at the leather workers in the Magus Commerce Exchange. It has been a very long time since I've done these dailies. Probably about 10 years, so. It's gonna take me a minute to remember where these places are. I feel like I remember. Wait a minute. Why did it say the Forge of Souls? That was very weird. We aren't in queue for the Forge of Souls. We're in queue for the Pit of Saren. Um. 
was going to say there should be something in this building else that I was looking for. I think that's only five I still need. One more wine glass. Be in here, right? Yeah, well, they're working. Have you seen a servant with my wine and cheese platter? I am quite peckish. Aha! This appears to be a fine vintage. Sure it is, buddy. So, got a nice couple of achievements for that one. What is it asking about TOC? I'm so confused. Oh, it still has some other stuff checked down there. There we go. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Oh, there is a weekly that I do need to grab. Patchwork must die. The so-called avatar of war, Patchwork, is the ultimate abomination. It is also taking a heavy toll upon our forces in the Dragon Blight. We want you to assemble your champions and enter the Construct Quarter of Max Ramis. Disassemble the Construct. The Council of Six has decreed that Patchwork must die. And those I'm not going to be do picking up yet just because I don't know exactly what they are. But the one I just took is the weekly raid quest. Disarmed. I am really I have, I have received word of an unfortunate accident at the Dalaran prison. A guard had his arm severed and thrown into the water by a particularly vicious inmate. Our first aid clinic promises they can reattach the arm if we bring it back. You fish long enough in the water outside the prison, and I'd bet my favorite fishing pole that arm will resurface. Find that arm and bring it to Olisara the Kind here in Dalaran. She'll know what to do. So outside of the prison? Oh, the Violet Bolt. I always forget that that's like a magical prison. I don't even think I have my fishing rod, actually. I have to go get it from the bank. I 
There's one thing I want to grab on here. I meant to grab it earlier and I didn't. I'm pretty sure that I fish up like a bloated fish and when I open it the arm is inside. I'm looking at the tree chat. And remembering that I have to do my reads on this character, which is something new for me doing to be doing in classic. My fishing is kind of low on this quest, or <laughs> on this character, so it might take a little bit. I'm hoping, honestly, that Q pops pretty quickly. We got the DPS. That's another thing I'm kind of trying to gear up because I do want to start healing. I do remember really enjoying druid healing in Wrath of the Witch King, but I was very geared to the point where it was easy enough for it to be fun. So I definitely need to upgrade my gear in order to make it fun. Just in case I get, you know, a group with a not-so-geared tank. That doesn't make it be stressful. A slippery eel. It'll give me a nice food buff for an hour if I eat it. should have vendored before. Let's see. So I know Chromie will have the quest. Dispelling illusions. Always meddling. The infinite dragon flight seek to disrupt history as we have come to know it by deceiving Prince Arthas. I'm going to pull it up as I do the, um, as I do the crates. If they can convince him that none of the grains here 
carries the plague, then he'll never have to make the fateful decision to call Strath home. This must not come to pass. Use this arcane disruptor on any suspicious crates of grain you find to reveal them for what they are. Meet me near Strathholm's entrance, north of this place when you are done. It's been a long, long time since I've had to run this. Oh my, it's very foggy. Is this normal? Oh, it's probably because uh, I'm in the wrong spot. That was weird. Apparently it was like that for that person, too. You have done well, friend. The plagued grain was exposed to Arthas's troops. Listen carefully now. The remains are more to be done. The infinite dragonflight are not likely to give up so easily. I cannot be certain of what they're up to, but something tells me we haven't seen the last of them today. In just a moment, Arthur Arthas will face a desperate dilemma and make a moment a monumentous decision. Don't lose focus. Sorry, I lost focus. <laughs> Don't lose focus now, Lunacy. I needn't remind you how much is at stake. I must call upon you to accompany the prince. To accompany the prince in his calling of Stratholm. Arthas must make it through Stratholm alive and you must see to it that he defeats Melganus. And honestly, this is, I think, one of my favorite dungeons because of, like, the, the darkness that kind of surrounds it. It has a lot of story, and basically, um, Arthas, I've always liked the lead up of Arthas's story to him becoming the Lich King. Um, I feel like his intentions were like, he tried his best, but he still got wrapped up into this. And basically what this dungeon is about is a demon, Malganus, and... Um, he goes to a human city, and he plagues them. I think it was the grains, like they said in the quest. And the citizens become sick with this plague that turns them into the scourge. And, um, basically, Arthas's solution to this was to kill everybody in the city and of course there were some of like his soldiers that went along with that but a lot of people were not approving of the decision to do that um and Jaina being one of those people was very 
bothered by Arthas's decision to kill everybody in the city. And um, it wasn't too long after that that Arthas became the new Lich King. Basically, I think he goes to Northrend to fight Melganus after this all takes place. And I um, can't remember exactly how, how it came to be. I'm pretty sure Melganus tricked Arthas. suppose it will come out in um, the Northrend questing when I get to it. At least I think so. I don't think it was like a paladin-only quest or anything. Also, dang, my inventory's full. I keep going to use spells that aren't in classic because I was playing my retail character the other day and I keep going to hit seven and it's not the same spell as it's not the same spell in classic that it is in retail Elrim, the flesh crafter. He sounds like a delight. that I can't use.
They done stunned me. Or dazed me. He knows the way through. Ah, you finally arrived, Prince Arthas. You're here, just in the nick of time. Yes, I'm glad I could get to you before the plague. What is this sorcery? There is no need for you to understand, Arthas. All you need to do is die. Elganus appears to have more than Scourge in his arsenal. We should make haste. More vile sorcery. Be ready for anything. Move on. Watch your backs. They have us surrounded in this hall. Now, Gannis is not making this easy. Well, of course he's not. They're very persistent. What else can he put in my way? Prince Arthas Menethil, on this day a powerful darkness has taken hold of your soul. The death you are destined to visit upon others will this day be your own. I do what I must for Lord Aron, and neither you nor your <laughs> neither your words nor your actions will stop me. We'll see about that, young prince. Getting more mail. The quickest path to Malganus lies behind that bookshelf ahead. This will only take a moment. 
I'm relieved this secret passage still works. Let's move through here quickly as possible. If the dead don't kill us, these fires might. I think it's funny how he keeps like running back and forth because it's technically like an escort quest. Rest a moment and clear your lungs, but we must move again soon. It's enough. We must move again. Noganus awaits. At last, some luck. Market Row has not caught fire yet. Melganus is supposed to be in Crusader Square, which is just ahead. Tell me when you're ready to move forward. Oops, what a one. I'm gonna go quick talk to Arthas. We're ready. Justice will be done. We're going to finish this right now, Malganus. Just you and me. This will be a fine test, Prince Arthas. I think it's interesting that he says that it's going to be just you and me. But clearly he has a group of five with him.
Your journey has just begun, young prince. Gather your forces and meet me in the Arctic land of Northrend. It is here that we shall settle the score between us. It is there that your true destiny will unfold. I'll hunt you to the ends of the earth if I have to. Do you hear me? To the ends of the earth. You performed well this day. Anything Melganus has left behind is yours. Take it as your reward. I will now begin plans to the expedition to Northrend. And no gear. But I did get a frozen orb, so that's nice. I think I'm going to end this video here, and then I'm going to pick up the next video doing um, the other three dungeons, maybe, if I have time in the video. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. It's a little bit different than my usual one. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a good night and sweet dreams. Bye, guys.